we are looking at a fragment that exploded. So we have this 80 kilogram mass, which explodes into two fragments. We're trying to find an equation for the velocity of the right fragment. Now in this diagram, we're given masses and we're also given velocities. Whenever you see masses and velocities in a diagram, that's a good sign that you're gonna need to use momentum since momentum is mass times velocity. But momentum is something that's conserved. So we can say that the initial momentum is gonna equal the final momentum. But the initial momentum represents the momentum initially and the final momentum represents the total final momentum. But if momentum is mass times velocity, and we don't have a velocity at the start, that means that the initial momentum is going to be zero. And the final momentum is going to be the mass and velocity of the first fragment plus the mass and velocity of the second fragment. Now I'm trying to solve for the velocity of the second fragment. So I'll subtract m1v1 on both sides. That'll get it to cancel on the right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the mass of the second fragment on both sides. So this is the equation I'll end up with for the velocity of the second fragment. And I'll go ahead and switch sides here to make this look a little more formal. So this is the equation you would need to find the velocity of the second fragment. 